What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those who are new here. Hello and welcome and for all of my returning subscribers. Hey girl. So it is officially seed starting season over here and I am in zone 6a central Ohio or at least that's what I used to be. I don't know no more child. I'ma just go according to what the old farmer's almanac told me and I'm going based off of my final frost date which is hold up I believe it's April 22nd. Let me double check in my planner. Um, because, you know, we keep these things written down for a reason. So my final frost date is April 24th. So that means right about now is when I need to go on ahead and start onions because onions can go out before the final frost. Um, so it is the 6th of January. In the past, I have not started my my onions this early, but your girl can be a little neglectful. And so I need to give myself enough wiggle space for any error. So today, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I will be using this grow kit here. I received this from Grow Friend um, a few months ago for review. So this is gonna be really handy this growing season because I am working with a very limited space. My basement is being renovated right now, which means that I don't have like a dedicated space for my seed starting. If you have followed me in the past for any seed starting ventures, you know that I was doing everything in my basement and I had like a full station going up. However, right now I don't have that space. Um, I hope to have it all together before the end of this month. Fingers crossed, you know how contractors work. I don't know. Um, so right now, being that I have these things to really start right now while I don't have like a full setup, something like this will be perfect. So it comes with the actual tray with the cells and everything and I went on ahead and filled it up with my seed starting mix and then the dome here actually has the lights it has two of these little strip lights here and you can plug them into the wall you do have space for vents or you have vents not space for vents but you have vents in here to allow a little bit of airflow so this will carry me over until my space is ready for me so let's go on ahead real quick if you guys want more information about this specific kit i will make sure to leave it down in the comment or not the comment section I will be sure to leave links and everything in regards to this specific kit down in the description below. But let's go on ahead and talk varieties that we will be starting this month. All right, so what we will be actually starting today in this kit here, I have a few things. Um, first things first, rosemary. So rosemary is not hardy in my zone. Um, I do have some out in the garden right now that looks like it's holding up nicely. However, I just want to be on the safe side. So I am going to start just like maybe, maybe four cells of the rosemary. Um, this can be a little bit more finicky to start, but I did start it last year without fail. So hopefully it will be the same this year. So we've got some rosemary. And then next here, we have some leeks. Last year was the first time I ever grew leeks. These were the exact same varieties. They did really well in my space. However, I know that they were a little stunted because of the area that I chose them for them to grow in. Um, I had a lot of like some roots coming in from the trees right behind that bed there. So I might have to relocate some things. So hopefully these can grow to be like thicker and hardier like I want them to be. But the varieties that we have here are American flag. Focus. Focus child. There we go. All right. American flag. And then we also have King Richard. So like I said, these were tried and true last year without fail. So let's pray for the same thing. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to do like a multi sow method since again, we're working with limited space and we'll just see how many we can get out of this. I want to say I want at least uh, 25 of each variety and we'll just see how that ends up working out. Anywho, um, next up, onions, onions. Now, this will be probably the fourth year that I'm trying to grow onions from seed myself. 
Last year wasn't a complete fail. Or no, yeah, it was actually, I'm lying. Last year was a complete fail. I started them and they were doing really well until they weren't. And per you guys' recommendations, everybody who commented underneath that post from last year, I appreciate you because I learned a few things. Um, I am gonna allow for these to dry out before I water them again and then also i need to fertilize more even at this seed starting stage so the the varieties that i will be growing are walla walla and these are just two different packets here one packet is new this packet is from last year they always say or they i don't know it's recommended that you grow onions from new seed every year which is why i'm working with both i just didn't want the older one to go to waste so we have some walla walla we have the flat of italy which i have attempted to grow these before as well and then bunching onions i always do really good at and i think it's i don't know what it is anyways um we have white lisbon i believe that's how you pronounce that i don't know child uh onion which is like a bunching onion and then today i don't know how exactly i'm gonna get these going but I'm going to figure something out and we'll circle back around. But I want to get some moringa started as well. This is a dwarf moringa, perennial, often grown annual. So this can continue to grow. So what I'm thinking that I'll do with this, I'll get this started in like a small cell tray. And I'm thinking about maybe putting it in a fabric pot. That way, at the end of the season, I can pull this indoors to continue to grow it on um so yeah maybe won't be starting this today but we'll see so without further ado baby there's nothing to it but to do it um this process is not difficult so if you guys have never grown things from seed before understand that first of all you might get some failure you know like i said this is my fourth year trying at growing onions growing my own onions from seed but i'm gonna keep trying 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 again so let's go on ahead oh let's get into it Okay, so I was low on seed for the flat red. I was gonna do two rows of that. So since I have an additional row, I am going to start up some spinach as well. This is the giant winter variety. Y'all, cool discovery. So first of all, I could not have planned this any better. Uh, I'm so excited because this is like 
high key perfect, especially for what it was that I was going for, which is seed starting in a small space, right? With this kit, this kit fits perfectly in one of these like craft carts. Let me try to get a better view for you guys. I could probably, there we go. So one of these craft carts you can pick up from like Michaels, I believe Joanne Fabrics has like their own little version of it. But I typically use these around the house for like, you know, crafts, arts, etc. But I had this empty one laying around and I believe one of my kids put like just some of the items that I had laying around for my gardening stuff in here. And I was like, oh, okay, this might be my little gardening craft cart. But what I did not expect was for this tray to fit in these little trays here perfectly. So, I mean, like I said, I could not have planned this any better. So boom, we've got our tray in here. You see me just water these in. So let's go on ahead and get the dome on like so like that i went on ahead and i plugged it in so i'll show you all of the man, grab a comfortable seat here pull you guys in so there we go okay so on the remote we have a few different options it has a switch button dimming and then timing and then it gives you like the code for the different lights or whatever so Let's go ahead and start with the switch button. So with the first button, it lights up both of the both of the lights. Second button, one will go out. Third button, another one will go out. And then the fourth button, it goes off. So obviously I want both of them on to get started. And then we have, I believe it's five lighting options. So that's number one, or no, that's number one, number two, number three, number four five so you've got all those options for brightness and then i'm gonna put it on the dimmest for right now just because you know i'm trying to film here um so then we have the timing button and i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that really well because it's a lot going on here but um up top it has red is code for three hours blue is code for six hours and then blue and red is 12 hours so Eventually, I'm going to run this on the full 12 hour cycle. What I plan to do is in the morning, it doesn't need any lights right now to germinate. So in the morning, I will turn this on at 8 a.m. and I will put it on the 12 hour cycle. That way, these seeds will begin to germinate beautifully. But what else did I put on this cart? Because like I said, this is about to be my little dedicated seed starting cart because I don't have a, a dedicated space right now but this is such a just a small bloop this is such a small footprint in my house and it is absolutely perfect so i went on ahead and i put my little bucket of all of my uh supplies and seeds that i'll be using for all of the upcoming weeks of seed starting and right now i put my planner in here I mean, just because I'm feeling cutesy and this is like low key perfect. And this is also a cart that I use for like my planners as well. So I know that that fits in there perfectly tucked back there. And then I have this little meter, which also comes with the girl girlfriend trays. Um, this is a three way meter. So we have a moisture level. You have the acid level or alkaline acid level and then it says light and dark i don't know what the heck that means but anyways i have this moisture meter here which i will probably use to keep up with how moist or dry my seeds seeds are seedlings are and then at the bottom i just stuck these i don't know what just happened but anyways at the bottom i just went on ahead and put these guys which are the compressed seed starting mix. These are the Cocoa Core from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, this is the space that will be dedicated to my seed starting, at least until I have more space. So I am and beyond impressed how this whole little situation turned out. So hopefully you guys are as inspired as I am working in your soul. In working in your small space hopefully you guys are not discouraged that you don't have like the perfect setup or whatever but i like things to be be tidy and like you know look halfway aesthetic 
and this totally pulls things together nicely. I also ended up putting my little my little water sprayer at the bottom there. So everything is tucked away beautifully. I think my whole family will be very much appreciative that I won't have stuff scattered all over the place in my house because I normally would totally do something like that. I hope that you all are inspired by this seed starting video. If you have not already began starting your seeds, definitely look into planning and definitely look into this little setup here because like I said, this could not have worked out any better. So I thank you all so much for stopping by. If you want to continue to follow the journey, definitely make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and until the next time, I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. Peace out.